Hello again, this is a chapter 4 video uh, and we're looking at the external and internal view of the Music Organizer version 1. Um, so let's have a look at this. Here we've got the uh, Music Organizer, Organizer version uh, 1 and our Music Organizer class. So let's have an external view um, of the class first. Um, right clicking shows we've got a single constructor that takes no parameters. So we can go in and have a look at this Music Organizer now. Uh, four methods. Um, and this uh, organizer basically to look after string file names doesn't really do much more than that apart from look after um, strings of uh, potential file names um, of music tracks. Um, so what we can do is we can add a uh, string to the list. So what we can do is we can say uh, add a string. So let's just use uh, Elvis um, blue suede shoes and our string. Once we then add one, then we can get to the number of files that have been stored. At the moment, we've only added the one file, which is a uh, returns one. So um, that method there, int get number of files, returns a uh, type integer. Um, we then um, use the list file um, and the remove file. In order to demonstrate these bottom two methods, I'm going to ask it, um, and uh, I'm going to add another um, file name. Okay, um, and we can now get our number of files again, which gives us two. Um, now we need to use the correct um, indexing, which remember starts at zero for arrays and array lists. Um, so if we list the file at zero, we should get blue suede shoes. And there we have our Elvis and blue suede shoes. Um, and then if we list at one, we'll have the Heartbreak Hotel. There we go. Um, so now we can remove using that correct index again. This is a, a void method, so it doesn't return anything. But we remove a specific file where we're going to remove um, the first one in the array list. Um, and then if we get the number of files again, we'll see that we've only got one. Um, and then we've only got one um, place to list, um, and that is at uh, element zero. And that gets our heartbreak hotel. So that's the external view. Um, so let's have a look at the internal view then. As we set the virtual machine and go and have a quick look at the internal view. Um, so here's the uh, music organizer class. Uh, the first thing which is new um, for this chapter is the use of an import statement at the top there. Um, because we're using the array list, we have to import uh, the uh, the right class um, and the right package from the Java library. Now the the place you get that import statement is here. Um, Here's our um, array list um, class, which I found previously. Um, if we go right to the top of the array list um, class, we'll see that we've got this here, and this describes um, where in the class library we um, we get access to that array list. So we need to import java.util.arraylist. That's exactly what we've done: java.util.arraylist at the top there. Um, only do, only has one field um, within this class, and that's the files um, field, and that is a, a, a type array list of type string. So we've only got one object in here, which is our files. Um, our files um, array list can obviously store many objects, but there's only one field for this particular object. Here we have our single constructor that doesn't take any parameters, and we can see that we've got our assignment there where we've got our files. Um, array list uh, and we've created a new object within uh, the memory location there so that's our assignment four methods uh, first of which uh, first of which is the add file um, so it's a void method um, and takes a parameter of a type string uh, remember we've got an array list of type string so what this method does is it adds a string to the array list so adds another object or another string object to the array list the way it does that is it uh, uses the object or the field name, files, and then an external method call to um, files.add and then the file name. So let's have a look at that method in the API. Here we've got the add method at the top. Actually returns a type boolean, so if it's successful it will give a, uh, a true and if it's unsuccessful it will give a false. Um, and it adds a type um, element there. So because this is an array list of type string, then that type automatically becomes a string. So the element for anything in this array list, you can just replace with um, string. So 
So that um, adds our file name to the string. The next method is the um, int get number of files. So no parameter required, uh, but returns an integer. Now here we've got a bit of a shortcut. Uh, we're just going straight into return statement um, and having files.size. Now the method used is the uh, it's an external method call from the files object, um, and the size method is down here. And that runs the uh, number of elements in a specific list. Um, so in this case, it, the elements are um, typing, and it returns the number of elements in there. And we can do this longhand, so to sort of show how this might look, it would be something like this. So that would be the longhand right way of writing um, the previous statement. But it's exactly the same. Um, that just uh, might make it a little bit clearer. Here we have uh, the list file method, and this will um, specifically print out the name of the file, the element in the list. Um, first thing that happens, a little bit of error checking. So it first of all checks that it's not a negative number, which is given. Obviously a negative list um, or a negative element number doesn't make any sense. Um, and then it also checks to make sure that the element number is within the amount of um, elements in the list. So if there's only five elements in the list, um, then the element number 10 is nonsensical. So that's a little bit of error checking at the beginning to make sure that's okay. We then create a temporary variable here called string file name. Uh, and we use the get method, um, which, let's have a quick look at the get method. Remember, there's the return type of E, so it returns an element. In this case, it's a, um, it's a string array list, so we can replace that E with string. So it returns a string, um, and it requires the parameter of an index, which, which we see um, in the uh, external method call shown in, in our music organizer class there. So files.getIndex will return a string, um, and then our local variable um, file name will be um, assigned with that string. Finally, we then do a system.out.println of that string um, of the file name, so effectively we get an output of the uh, of the string um, at the indexed um, in the array list. The final method we've got here is the remove file, so quite similar to the list file method, um, void return type, and uh, takes the parameter of where the um, specific track is in the array list. Uh, does the same error checking. Um, as previous, but um, when removing, um, uh, we'll just do a files.remove uh, and then index, so that will remove whatever um, string object is at the index shown there. Um, now if we have a quick look at the remove method here, you can see it actually returns a type string, so if you wanted to, you could do it on a system.out.print line and say um, this was the string that was was deleted, but otherwise it removes that um, element in specific list, and then that will be the last time you see that string because it will no longer be in that list. So that's the internal view um, of Music Organizer. Any questions, then we'll go through them in class.